Peace, it's your boy 2Js out here in Tampa for SneakerCon this weekend. I got a little bit of time. I'm going to go catch a baseball game later today. But the first thing that I do every time I'm in the city is make the mad dash out to St. Pete to go check out Curated Heat. Excited to see these guys. It's one of my favorite vintage shops in the country. So let's go see what they got. Good to see you guys still at it, man. Yes. Yeah. We're uh, been switching stuff up. I was like telling him last night when we pulled in, I'm like, yo, there's a spot. It's in St. Pete. We got to go. Like, and just check it out. It's been a while since I've been down here, man. Last time I was down here, I didn't have the chance to, to pull up. Oh, dude, hold on, man. I had this hat back in the day. This is fucking crazy. The old sports specialties, man. Almost fits my dog. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. I kind of have to take this. I'm gonna take this out, bro. This is like they, so they have, their whole store is like themed out, right? So like, this is like their sports section. Then they'll have stuff that's like, you know, like the local teams, Tampa Bay stuff. Let's try to get one more. I should probably, I should probably get this, right? I mean, I am a season ticket holder for them, so I should probably, I smoke cigars with um, Mike Davis every once really? in a while. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's a good one. Houston Rockets merch, they always believe. You got Clyde, Jackson, Elijah, Mario, Mario Ellie, Robert Ori, Kenny Smith, and Sam Cassell before your time. And this is the part of the comment section where someone be like, man, what do you know about that? It's another good one. Larry Legend. Oh, yeah. 93. Salem used to... See the back of it, too? It's got the Salem Sportswear. No, that's solid. And this is something that I had... I had to learn last year with my partners, right? Like, I have some great operating partners that are really showing me, like, what my bad habits were and, like what I was doing right and then what I was doing wrong. And the reality of it is, is I was doing a lot wrong because my business runs in an entirely different way, right? Like I really was fortunate to build, but I was too stuck on the past. Yeah. Like, I'm like, man, no, we always did this. We have to continue to do it this way. Like, this is all I'm, and like, I didn't understand that I'm speaking out of an emotion and fear of like, letting go it's like traumatizing shit to like have something work a certain way and you think that's the only way yeah. right like you're like me we don't have anybody from a business standpoint saying hey do this or no, do that like electrician. dude i i was a c I, like i was lucky to average a c in school yeah. i didn't go to college I, you know what i mean I like dropped out at 16 yeah because i couldn't handle yeah just learning the same stuff over yeah and over. So like, don't beat yourself up over like, it not being the same shit. Yeah. Do, keep doing it with a smile and- My problem with Meta is um, they're, it's very predatory, right? Because they will shadow ban you. Oh, I feel- not, well, I'm paying them money. I'm one gazillion percent shadow ban. Yeah. Like how, I mean, this, I know I'm gonna sound like I'm crying, but I've been at 455, 456 yeah. for almost two years. Did they, have they ever called you? I, I didn't know they, they called people. They called us. They called you? Oh, and what did they say? He said, hey, uh, we noticed that you guys aren't spending as much on promoted ads anymore. We just wanted to know what's going on. It's like, well, we're not making as much money as we used to, so we can kind of scale back. They're begging us to keep sending the money. We're a small business. Yeah. And ever since that day, it's like, look, we, we can't really do what you guys want. Like, we're spending four or 5000 a month. Yeah. That's a lot. That's yeah. a big budget. That's but big what budget. was... And it's okay. So it, it was really when you were doing four thousand a month, what was that? What is do you? This, is this gonna go on YouTube? This stuff right here. If you had to say, like, you don't have to give me an exact number, but was it like significant growth? 
like you're like holy shit retirement money's on the way or was it like I'm, oh it's breaking even i'm making a little money i'm afraid to say because i don't, I don't want to no 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 but on. it's fine like so it was working let's just leave it at that it was, it was making a lot of money it was yeah. worth the four thousand dollar investment 100 percent. so if you spend four thousand dollars now do you think you break even no i think you lose money you lose money I think you lose money even if you're creative with it and you're like... Because I've never... I've, I think in my history of my brand, so, and I, I think I've spent maybe a hundred bucks and it was by mistake. Here's the thing. is Jordy is like... He's like a marketing genius. Like, okay. Like, you know what I mean? So we were progressing so much because we're putting out all this content. content. Yeah, you guys are killing it. And stuff like that, right? But when you start when the economy kind of like switched a little bit on us it's like we can't be spending that much when the free money ends if you cut up, this out i'll tell you exactly no I, you don't have to tell me All it's right. cool like it, that's that's dope though i mean but again like dude look that's like that's no different than when i was doing like the t-shirts and the giveaways right like yeah. at its peak i was like I was doing numbers that I'm like, yo, dude, I, rappers don't even do these numbers with yeah. their merch. Like, you know, but it's nothing lasts forever if you, you just got to hit it at the right time. The marketing thing where it frustrates me and I think why I've been so like conservative and paying for mar marketing outside of like the content that we create yeah. is like, I don't know if that's going to the right demographic that's going to create the retention that I need. And there's no one because same thing like them, even though they're a bigger business, they have to have bigger margins than we ever do to keep the scale yeah. and like the infrastructure, the amount of bodies they would need to communicate and be like an account specialist to like walk you through. OK, like this is where you need to be shifting like there's not it's it's not like your 401k or like stocks and you have a company doing it for you. You know what I mean? Like. If there, that was there, I think all businesses would invest willingly. Why wouldn't you? But for me, it's just always been like being outside and just doing this yeah. is what's helped my brand. I mean, you're one of the best networkers I've ever met. Uh, so. dude. I'm and, just outside. very humble. First time I met you, I was like, dude, you're a legend. You go, man, I'm, I'm nobody. I'm a fucking nobody still. <laughs> Like, dude, I hate it. Like, in that sense, I, I genuinely, like, look, I understand you have to show respect to something you have an appreciation for or see value or has helped you pivot, right? Yeah. But the whole, my whole life has been that. Someone's taught me and I don't, like the people that have taught me, they don't be like, give me credit. You know what I mean? And it's like, all, of, all we do is because someone else could justify it. You could justify going somewhere else and never spending with me again. Then what? Yeah. What does it matter what I do? No, it doesn't. Peace, bro. Much love. Oh, the bag. What bag is this? Off white. Yeah, that's dope. They didn't make it? No, what were you saying? What? What? No, what? Uh, when did this come out? When did it come out? Three years ago. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. I wish you guys a lot of success today. Much love, love. I, you know why I appreciate that boy right there? No restrictions. I really respect the fact that like, yo, obviously he has an impediment that makes it a lot more difficult for him to interact. He's not using it as an excuse. And you know why I'm leaving it and I like, that excites me is because you know how many people I talk to and they'll be like, yeah, but, yeah, but, that was me forever. Yeah, but I. I nah, you can't. No, nah, there's no yeah buts. What's up with it, man? How you? Stay in paradise. I can take that. Gotta figure out how to fit everything, man. You gotta put like stack, stack some of them up up there. Yeah. You ain't got an iPad? Uh, no, I don't. 
start putting like the next one when yeah, you got yeah. this much stuff, iPads, or even like make a binder with pictures of them because okay. you're never yeah, gonna yeah. have everything out. And there's no, even if you had everything out, it's yeah. too much to visually see. Sometimes having too much is, is yeah, not yeah. good. But it's, it's yeah. I but but you'll sell some shit today. Yeah, no doubt. That's the point. Yeah. Hopefully, go home with less. If, <laughs> but if you sell one, you already you already yeah. did that. Be well, guys. Nah, Peace, good. bro. You good? good Chilling, bro. I'm, I'm Robert, bro. I got a shoelace company, man. That's all I do. I sell pretty much only shoelaces. I got the SBs, ropes. I got everything, man. That's trying, amazing. Just trying to get into little stores, man. You know. How long you been at it? A uh, year and a half, man. A year and a half. Te va? Good. Yeah. Tranquilo, man. Taking it easy, man. Trying to do it slow, right and natural, man. You know, that's how. It so goes. when you go to stores, how are you presenting the product? You're just showing so, it to them. So or? first, I started doing off shows, like okay. uh, local shows in Miami. I'm from Miami. Uh huh. So I started doing the local shows, and there I started meeting people. You know, I started networking, and then little by little, I got into a couple of shops and. Oh, and you do the lace locks too? I got the lace locks, the Air Force tags. I got the, the the little plastic part that comes with the fives and everything. Damn, that's crazy, bro. This right here is... That's where everybody hits me up, man. Yeah, because I've lost... How many lace locks that, have you lost? Bro, you everybody know? calls me and they're like, Oh, bro, I just bought some shoes and they're missing the lace locks. Everybody, everybody does that. That's good. But sigue para adelante, bro. Yeah, man. I, I wish you the you best, man. bro. Thank Be you, well. What's you your IG? Up, it's First Class Laces. Get it on there. This boy's been vending for a while. That Ari go crazy. He got the SB collectors. Look how, look how sauced out that UNC4 is. And then look, look at his trophy room. Damn, he wore. Oh, these are the joints you got. Yeah. I bought those. I bought those the other day. The next one, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna fix this too. Y'all gonna be like, damn, he look like he, damn, he look, he look like he 40 again. The thing too is like, I've done hundreds. I'm now closing in on doing. At some point, we're gonna hit 200 shows here next year, like lifetime, right? So. Like, think about how many shoes I've seen. Just at shows. Forget the store. At this point, there's very few things out of them. I remember these. That's crazy. Peace, bro. So it's really hard for me to find something that excites me now. Right. You walk now? You walk now? Holy cow. What's up, man? He's like, I think I remember this guy, but I don't remember this guy. Wow. You got teeth and everything now. The last time I saw you, you didn't even walk. You weren't even born yet. Yeah, hey. Sneaker travelers. How you guys been? Good, how are you? Donde esta, Rafa? He wanna go get changed real quick. Got you. Where's that? Where's your brother? He's still not up yet. What? The oh, money? Damn, glasses. <laughs> Yo, you my height now. Holy cow. Look at this evolution of you. That's your brother, but like a fail. <laughs> yeah. Man, fail, right? What's up, money? Oh, he didn't go say hi to you. He said, nah, he's he Hollywood. He's too good now. How old are you now? 20? 12? Uh. You get old. I have a picture. He's like this, and you're right next to him. I'm like, if we put it together. Nah, this, yeah, damn near since you started. <laughs> like four, like, eight, like since four or five years old. Yep. Like since you were smaller than him. How do you now? Five. Five. Boy, getting old, man. So you're done. No more, no more kids, right? Thank God. Cause if if I gotta see another one, I'll be stressed out for you. Yo, you remember money that used to? Used to, yes. He used to run around the shows with the bags selling. He was the first dude slinging candy and, and chips and sodas, and he would always. I would always try to jack them for jack them for <laughs> chips. I, yo, they're big as hell, bro. How are you, kid? Hey, you know. Good, good to see you. Yeah, we'll chop it up here in a bit. Sure. Yeah, so his his son, Money, Money Kicks. Like, yo, you remember when Money Kicks used to like come up and just harass people, Wasn't bro? He crazy? No, he was wild as when hell. You see the, his little brother looks 
exactly like, no, it's gonna happen all over again. They gotta, they gotta go through it three times. Yeah, nah, he did well. What's up, dog? How you doing? Good. I thought you was retired, man. I thought you was retired. Now, what are you driving now? You driving now, for real, right? Yeah. What do you drive now? About to get an M3. It's crazy. Yo, you remember, remember when he started? We, we just had this talk, bro. Yeah. Well, you know? We, we just had the growth talk. How old do you now? 18. When did I first meet you? You were what, 13? 13, 12 even. At 16. He was the first person I saw with a Rolex, Rolex. at sneaker yeah. at yeah, sneaker con. Yeah. And I was like, wait, how? Yeah, man. It's good seeing you, bro. Yes, sir. You've been good? Yeah, how's the store been? Good. Just working. You remember him, right? You remember him from the Ford Lot? No, you didn't go nah, to the Ford Lot today, so. I'll come holla at you later, bro. Be well. Good seeing you, bro. I got a lot of respect for him because yo, he's the one that he was the first person I saw with a Rolex at sneaker con. 16 years old he was the one that i talk about like really got me thinking okay i gotta do stuff different watch yourself right there he um like uh i was like yo how you got a rolex at 16 years old and was explaining to me that he like got a credit card you know his parents helped him get a credit card and that's how he was jugging it was like through credit and so he was scaling through credit. So he was explaining like how he'd been able to scale it to where like he's now not just using money, he's using this credit. And during the pandemic, when I was doing all the live streams, he would get on there. His IG was bait bag, right? And he would get on there and he's like, yo, I bought a Tesla. He ate, was at 16, 17, he had a car before he had a driver's license. And now you heard him, he's like, no, now he's like, I'm buying an M3. That's not a... Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Five hours. Yo, so what's the hot, hot shoe right now? What's the hot shoe right now? I mean, I think, I think people are now more are like the most open to things that aren't Nike. Right. Right. So New Balance has done a good job. What's up, man? New Balance is, excuse me. New Balance has done a good job with some of the stuff they're doing. Um, Salehi is killing it. People are wearing like, people are just wearing everything yeah, now. Yeah, you know, I used to do that like back in the day. And it's like, more expensive things. yeah, like Dior's, I did it on Dior. But it got out of hand. Like, uh, so when Shoe Surgeon got involved, the first like event that I, like the first sh like game that I went to with them was Home Run Derby and, All and like All Star. And Dom was like, Dom's a wild boy. He'll buy tickets to like nosebleeds, but he'll work his way down. He'll get in the suites. So he had me running around the whole thing and I'm not used to that. That shit was giving me like anxiety, like like finagling through the building. Like if I can't pay for the section, then I don't go to the section, you know? That's the normal logic. But he he's finagles, he's Lord of the finaglers. So he's like, hurry up, we gotta get out of here. So he goes, grabs ketchup. He's pouring ketchup on like Louis Vuittons, like, Nah, this shit was crazy, bro. So I, I kind of chilled after that. When we started throwing mustard and shit on shoes, it was a wrap. Peace, bro. How are you, man? Good, good. What you got going on? We got a lot of, a lot of, uh, this is with love. Um, just trying to spread a message through the brand. Where you based out of? Uh, Brooklyn, PA. That's what's up. Uh, travel pretty far for this one. This is dope. Con. I think you're gonna do okay. How much you sell these hats at? 30. 30? Yeah, you're gonna move numbers. You're just trying to get them out. Yeah. How, when, how long ago did you start? Um, five, a little over five years ago. We move around and do our own pop-up events and stuff like that, and host it. Um, this is our first um, group events. Usually we run our stores, redesign them, and... No, yeah, that's, that's dope. We got shirts too, what I'm wearing. That's dope, bro. You guys got a gram? Yes. Show, show the camera the gram. TWO. JS. Oh, hey. How are you? Very right, nice to meet you. These are socks, I got you. You're selling socks? Yeah, I, I make all these. They're all my designs. They're all completely original. Uh, yeah, you can feel the quality. It's no bullshit ass socks. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And then I, uh, I create, I do all customer ordering. That's all I'm ordering right as well. So, yeah. That's amazing. I appreciate it. How long you been at it? Two years. We're growing, we're growing fast. We're growing real fast. Um, a lot of wholesale right now, so it's 
So that's that's that's, the, that's the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, keep. Uh, that's, I'll tell you the inspiration behind all of them. I mean, it's a day ball one to sell. The fourth they come out in December. Anything fall really. Obviously, breast cancer is coming up, and you got all the powder puff those coming out in December. So yeah. Amazing. Appreciate if you do a, if you do a, a like a colon cancer one, please let me know. I can definitely do that for you. Yeah. Just let, I will put the here, I'll, uh, yeah, DM me. Yeah, I'll do that right now and we can come up with the awesome. design together. And yeah, I'd sure. like that. Yeah, can we get a picture of you? Of course. Right. More than happy to. Amazing. Be well. Keep at it, okay? You as so well. humble. I appreciate yeah. that. Be well. God bless. What's going on, bro? Chilling. So what's up? How'd LA go? Horrible. LA really? one of the worst shows I've ever done. In what way? Honestly, I haven't run the numbers yet because we had to drive from LA to yeah. Tampa. And that's oh, you drove from LA to Tampa? Yeah. Three days. I mean, and we broke it up in two days. You did it in two? Uh, yeah, our transportation company is called Sneaker Haulers. So we, we bring stuff from Chicago to events, but we went from Chicago to LA 2,000 miles, and then we went LA to here 2,500 miles, and then we're going to go take everybody's stuff back to Chicago. But how do I get 2,000 pairs here myself unless I help everybody else out? Yeah. So I've always been like, good karma, help everybody else out. So there's a lot of people here from Chicago today because they ship with me. And Chicago's kind of like an Allen. Alan. Alan's yeah. like, this is the Chicago boys. Because I guess yeah. it was a thing, um, what's his name, Very Blessed P? Yeah, he Wendy City. He used to do it for 10 years. And so now I guess like, You're I, taking over. I didn't even know that I was. Becoming that, yeah. yeah. Alan was the one that told me, and I know who he is just because he's been at Chicago then. Yeah. But LA in general, it was 217 pairs both days. I sold more day two than day one. There was only a couple stores where Dallas, there was like 15, 20 stores. I mean, LA, we kind of got access. It's on, saturated. On like, it's oversaturated. Like, there, it's good because it, this is what I learned in LA. LA is a show for people like us where you need to just like build value. Go buy pro like buy it's product. All about connections too. Yeah, I made more work. relationships in LA than I did product. And see, those are the shows like that's where it pays back. Like you threw one in the ocean, you have no idea when it's gonna come back and how much bigger that wave is when it comes back. And like even I, right? Like I brought a lot of merch, but I didn't sell as much merch as I'm normally used to. But like you saw the content that we're putting out. It's it, big. It's huge. it was so. Like, maybe the play is next year, you don't do LA. Yeah, you do LA, but you do it smaller, so then you have more room to take stuff. That's and what you, I'm doing with Phoenix. Yeah. I left stuff in, the, in Phoenix. My, all my employees are in Phoenix. Okay. So I left stuff in Phoenix, so I already stuff there yeah, yeah, ready yeah, to go. Yeah. But I also, because of my roots being from there prior. So I when's the last time stores. you were like home for more than 10 hours? I don't know. It was the break between Bay Area and Minneapolis. For three weeks. A month ago? A month and a half ago? I'm in a new state every weekend. And that's the nature of the beast. How old are you? I just turned 30. <laughs> you got good 10 years of doing it. Oh yeah, easy. I mean, we're basically only a year and a half in of actually vending. Because prior I would go to the shows and buy. But then I realized the logis logistically to get the stuff back was the hardest part. I, I think it's amazing that you've been like, you know, I've been able to catch you at all these shows and I'm seeing changes, good, bad. You're like, no, this went right, this didn't go right. Like, I think you gotta figure out where you build the time to have conversations with people within your circle to say, okay, these things didn't work out instead of just trying. Oh, we've already, I've already thought about it because three employees, one, it was too much overhead, in my opinion. LA, if it would have been better, I probably wouldn't have said the same thing. But it was a lot at once, because how do you keep all three of them busy? You don't. There's so much downtime, and then you got three yeah. mouths to feed, three tickets. It, it adds up quick. And at the end of the day, tables alone, you know, it adds up. So overhead gets steep. But to manage X amount of shoes, if I get the right person, I think I can do it with two of us. Which if I can do 700 myself, I have walkie-talkies during the show, and I think I had found the person to help me because... Yeah, they're, somebody they're that's motivated, motivated, yeah. Because we can't be selling any more mismatches. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of stopped that. I've been on that one. We talked about this in Dallas. The mismatches are killer. But it's part of it. It's a, like the learning curve. Yeah. And they all have to happen. And you can't get mad about it. You just got to... You didn't, you didn't put... 
a procedure in place to prevent it so it falls on you, not the person that made the mistake. And there's so much at first when you're doing a show, especially people that have never done this before. Right. Because it's so hard, you cannot bring in another reseller to help another reseller. Yeah. Because every No, the intentions aren't going to be where they need to be. No, and it, I've found that out. The hard way. Last year, last year, I tried to have another reseller help me, and I noticed that they were selling their 10 or 20, 30 shoes. Before yours. When you were up here trying to buy my shoe, yeah. it was already sold. And so it's like, just let them buy what they want, you know? Yeah. I, I don't care if it was yours or mine. We should all just, the whole goal is selling the shoes. Like we talked in Hawaii. Why is there no big banners? Why is there no t-shirts? Why is yeah, there yeah, no yeah. hats? Well, the whole, since I started in seventh grade was to sell the dang shoe. Yeah. Like just keep it going. Yeah, but you know, but like, now it's content, look at the video, content. look at the video that I posted with the stores. Like look at how, how far I took presentation. That's what I have to do to have a fighting chance against 40 stores, 100 stores globally. Like you have to go above and beyond and it's it's never with what you could put in your pocket. It's always with how much can I how much can I grow the business? And one day you're lucky enough to make enough money along the way that you got something. And it's but, not even about that, it, it, whether it's plus or minus on the P&L. I love doing this. Yeah. I love shoes. I, I love no, listen, we I all do. All we that, we know? all do. Or we wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> we all do, but what we don't have, what we've never had, is people like you and me don't have the education to really turn it into a business, and all we got is trial and error, and then sharing our best business practices when you find somebody you trust or respect, right? So, um, I, you know, I've, I don't want to say I feel for you, but I, could, I sympathize with you because... Everything that you're trying to do, I, I did to some point. And some things you're doing, I was never able, I was too scared to do. So I got a lot of respect for you, bro. I appreciate and it. You definitely have to learn to delegate. And that was at first the hardest thing for me. Yeah. Is like I've always learned the, the easiest way and the best way to do it is do it yourself. Because yeah. then you don't got to go back and reteach them and yeah, do yeah, it yeah, and everything. Because yeah. time is money. Yeah. At the end of the day, like, I mean, these shows are only X amount of hours. Yeah. If Have you I sold anything here today? Oh, we're probably 30, 40 pairs deep already. That's Florida's good. Florida's great. Florida's, Florida's good always good. I've done smaller shows. This is the first time they've done one at the convention. I was really excited. I, I think this is going to do well. Fort Lauderdale was the best show I've ever done until I added employees and went to Bay Area. And then I added a second employee. No, actually, we did two in both, actually. But I brought more shoes, and I went to Dallas, and Dallas was the best one. So the bar keeps, we keep raising the bar. Wow. But there's a ceiling on this. Yeah. There's... And so, and that's the thing. It's that's like, good that you recognize that. Because I think in Hawaii you said, well, just bring 14 tables. Just bring everything. I saw 1,500 shoes at home. How do you, like, it's just like, uh, logistically, to get that many shoes there, one, would be tough. But two. But see, so you're not, that, okay, not to cut you off. You're not asking the right questions. You're not trying to, you're trying to create a solution without having the full sum. Have you had a conversation with anybody with these shows of like, hey, this is what I have to offer. This is what I can bring, but can I get some help, right? Like the answer might be no. The answer might be a suggestion. The answer might be an opportunity to partner with a different logistical vendor that helps you get it there more efficiently and just does all the dirty work. Like every part of what you're doing could be delegated out to either someone on the team, a brand that you're working with, whether that's a trade show, if you create enough content where you get sponsorships, like there's all these other ways, but you're not really asking, have you ever tried to have that conversation? Like, yo, you know I could have, like, if you have that many shoes, like how many shoes you got here today? We started with 2,000 last weekend, so probably about 1,600. So 1,600, and you got another 1,500, so 3,000 pairs. Like, hey guys, I have 3,000 pairs. What's the show that next year, or the, what's the show that's left on the dock, on the, on the, you know, on the tour this year? Cleveland would be the next one that I don't have something logistically already planned out. And it's and only Cleveland's a six a, hour drive from Chicago. And Cleveland's a good show. Oh, and so, like, okay, can you help me, can we, this, like, that's a conversation. And because the worst case scenario, they're gonna tell you is no. And now I'm not saying this for you, uh, I just started and I got, you know, 800 pairs. Let me head up the show and see if they'll do the shit for me for free. Like that, that's not what I'm saying. It's what I'm saying is, is there's gotta be a, a way that you could create it. And if you could see it in your head, you'll sooner or later 
figure out the course of actions that you have to take to get to that. And so that would probably, my suggestion to you, if, if you're still trying to do the 3000, is like, definitely give me, like, even if it's a TV that's showing your content and all this other stuff that's right in the middle. Something, something, and then be like, hey, I want to do more, and keep telling them, I want to do more. I want, and right. they know that you want to do more. Oh, yeah. It's just. I'm, Alan says I'm the craziest guy because I'm. No, I show. love it. I fucking love it. That was me. But you're right. doing it the other way of what I was doing. I was always taking them out. You're always bringing them in. Right. So it's great. Like, but I logistically, keep I have, want to do both. Yeah, I well, mean, that'd be the, the win. Then let's figure it out. Have yeah, conversations. We'll and, you know, let me know how All I right. can be a help, bro. It's great you. seeing you, bro. Yeah, you too. Talk about this last week. 180 a size run. <laughs> if you took them all, I'll do 170. Four and a half, five, six, seven. There's like 50 pairs ish left. I think we gotta break the internet here. We're on 2J's channel. How about the whole table? I mean, that's, that's doable. 250 for the whole table. You get everything. I'll, I'll even box it up for you. Which, uh, you're the rabbits? 170 in bulk? Eight and a half through ten and a half. They're unreleased in the U.S. They only dropped overseas in January. Where are we? Like Japan, Year of the Rabbit, China. I'm um, gonna run of those. Okay, size run of those. Multiple sevens. Multiple sevens. How many? Uh, what size one? Twelve, fourteen. So four and a half, five, six, seven is a size run. There's only four pairs in a size run. Okay. And these right here, they men. They're men's. Eight and a half through ten and a half. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably. I mean, what you see is what I got left. So two, four, six, seven pairs. What do you do taking off? 160 take all? I gotta be a 160. It's me, Swish. I know, but- hey, let me talk to the chairman. This man, <laughs> he said, bro, when are you gonna send it? I said, I got you, 25,000, just like that. And that's life for, you know, two days, you know, that's life for you, life for me, but, you know what I'm saying, life for Swish. But it's Tell reputation, man, we holding it down, so what we doing? We, we held it down with the DMPs. We'll run 160 on these. We've been selling singles at 200 all day. And they're unreleased, so where else are you gonna get them? Nobody, we bound them Appreciate it. Good business, every time. Make sure you check out Pursuit. No, I'm just messing around, bro. It just happens. <laughs> and with the triples, you can't do 165. I can't. I honestly can, paid. So I paid 175 on the sevens. It's all based on size, so I'm averaging it out. That's why I wanted to be at 180, because I'd make five on the sevens. But then, like, it, if you're taking a little bit, the average with the smaller sizes, like, that's where I, that 170 would be at. You know those are water. I'm at 200, 220. You gotta have $35. $35, bro. Taxes and shit like that, so that made no noise. The tariffs. That shoe was 350 two months ago. The sales volume's huge. By Christmas, we're not gonna be able to find them. Let me get a. Uh... Let me get three of each size. Three of each size? Delaney. Triple pinks, I need three of each size. Four and a half, five, six, seven. What's your number on your pandas? Cause I'm gonna do some more of those for uh, Columbia too. So panda men's instead of 160 singles, I'll come down to 120 in bulk. That's you got the brown ones too. Uh, grade school, you have grade school pandas. Grade school pandas, I'll do 105. I'm talking about the brown. Ones. The cacaos. So the cacaos instead of 160 singles, I'll come down to 135 in bulk. What's looking like on those? It's like five and a half through seven and a half. And what you see is what's left. There's roughly, I'd say, nine, ten pairs left. The high top, the high top Supremes. I've been doing 300. I'll come down to 260. I have like three, six and a half, and I want to say eight and a half, nine left. What? I paid 250. I'm just trying to make ten each. You're honestly helping me taking three, six and a half. But you don't have to. If you want only one or two, six and a half, I understand. But that's a woman's eight. That's a good mover. Can you give me five at least? Uh -huh. 255. All right. And you want all of them? 
That's cool. So six and a half, eight and a half. Yeah, whatever those sizes. All right. White boxes on the back right. Were you wearing those? These, 140. Vintage Navy. I just paid 140. Retail and tax in Chicago, I think from, this is from Nordstrom's 124. With free shipping. At Chicago tax, it's a little different. How much is it? Ours is over, it's 11. Ours is 11, ours is 11 and then food's 13 and a half downtown Chicago. This one came from Michigan Ave. How much is it? Uh, 140, but you paid 120, I'll come down to 130, just to move it. Add it. One more. It's a single. It has a Nordstrom white square sticker on it. Uh, let's, uh, we got everything? Yeah. So we got eight Year of the Rabbits, four size runs on the triple pinks, three Supremes, and then we got the vi the vintage. And then I could I can show you. 255. And then the average would be 170 on those instead of 180. Mm, man, oh man. That's the best price. Yeah, because my average. Like the seven Ys, I paid more than 170. So, like, when you bring the average down, it's small. So, how about 165 instead of 170? Does that help? Yeah, it helps. I was trying to be like 160. I mean, if we take the seven Ys out, I could do 160. You know, I can't take the I know, that's the problem. I'm showing love on everything I can. And then we're gonna, we can ship these too on Monday. Six, six and a half and seven. 165, thank you. I got you a five. Oh. I got you a five. Which one? I'll take you. I'll get you a five. You made me take the L. <laughs> All right, check it. 1992, these were exclusive for Apple employees, higher up Apple employees that were at a conference. And I got my hand in these ones because I knew one of the guys I got them in 92. And I got these, size 10 and a half. These is probably one of 300, one of 200. But on sale, you're gonna find less than 10. And these one you can wear. is gonna be a little different but she walked up to me and she's like I got these two shoes you've only been selling shoes like you've been collecting for how long about a year she's been collecting for a year you know how old these are these are older than most of the people that watch my channel and the same thing with those shoes and she came up to me and she's like I want to sell these shoes but I don't know really what I'm doing so I said you shouldn't just sell your shoes you should work the room and see if you could get other shoes so you guys are gonna follow her and see how this plays out. Good luck. Thank you. Keep me posted. I will. Whatever you do, keep me posted before you do anything. Okay, got you. Oh my goodness. We just met him in the store, and he was fooling us, this and now we're like crazy. instant family. I am truly blessed. I have. I'm looking at all these sneakers, and. Our, our room looks like this. <laughs> Look like this arena. How much are you looking for? 
thousand. That one would be a thousand. This one would be fifteen hundred. All right. And if you think I'm crazy, say it with a smile. All right, I got you. Okay. okay. It's not a crazy price, honestly. I, I personally would have bought something like this. We wouldn't sell in our store. Um, but I'm sure someone that's a size six would probably pay a thousand. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So should I go any lower? I I would say that that would be a thousand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
What do you want to call it? Yukon. Okay. Yeah, Yukon. Tails! Oh my god. Heads! Hey. Woo! Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't even know what to do. Huh? Oh. You know what the crazy part is? What? Is that you got, you won, right? And he won too. Because if he pays 600, he's probably going to sell for like a thousand. So, but you got to be cool with that too. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with it. Nah, yeah, I'm not mad. The, no, one, shoe, the yeah. one shoe paid for the two shoes you got. Yeah. And you got money back in your that. pocket. I'm in here being blessed to meet you. It's God. It and is. to meet him God. and for the knowledge that she just got. What is way to go? It's quite Good. she has sold it for a dollar. <laughs> what she got from you three? We so couldn't pay for That's the voice in my head. Crazy. Yeah.